hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel online e-commerce series so now guys in this video we are going to learn how to show related products or related brand products in our product detail page so guys now let's get started so first let's move to this category guys which comes to this collection and then let's select one category that is mobile category and we move inside the mobile and now select with one yep and below this only i want to show the related products so guys now let's get started so first let's move to this path guys and go to this view page okay product view detail page yep let's get back to the editor go to your routes web.php let me just zoom it guys okay so now let us copy this collection mobile okay let's paste here first search for collection and inside this this is a third route where collection category and product which goes to the product view at front end controller so just search for the file guys control e and search for front end controller and go to your product view function so let's copy this and go back to your front end controller control f and search for your product view perfect so we are here guys and now let's move to this product view page okay so product detail view page so done guys and we are here so here you see we have a live wire component so let's move inside that live wire component and all your product details are shown as simple guys so let me minimize here okay so this is my container row column let's paste here again and let me end this three divs copy and paste all set and now let me add here bg white and inside a column md12 let's and tell related products so related products and we have a underlined css and now guys here let's refresh and check the output once yep get back refresh this page and below you'll find that cool so here we find that related products so now guys we are going to find the related product of this mobile category okay so under this mobile category here is your mobile category all the mobile we are going to show so guys let's get back so first up guys let's get back to one card design okay let's go to this new arrival in new tab and see how this card design is okay so guys we can work on this card design no issue let's copy this complete for each code okay so get back to your new arrivals let's go and move to your let's go to inside view front end we have already worked on this new arrival okay so let's go there and here is our new arrival for each code okay so let's copy this complete thing control c and now you can close this file guys not required that's it so you get back here and paste it as simple now inside this for each let me align everything so guys we are using a for else done and now if you see here we have a new label we don't require it okay so this is the image part and this is your product name brand everything so we are not going to touch anything over here we are going to replace some variables so as simple guys if you go to your view blade.php and you see that you have passed a prop okay property that is category so from where this category is coming let me just show you that category over here inside your product view function you have passed this variable category right so that category only you are getting and sending inside this and you are copying this control c just copy this prop and get back to your live wire blade view and you move back inside your for else here at the related product let's paste this and you are going to search the products all the related products under this mobile category this category is nothing but your mobile let me just show you the output guys once okay let me comment copy this let's comment it and 
open and close curly brace let me paste this category of i want from that category table specific category name okay so it should show mobile let me just refresh and show you perfect so you see guys that mobile is shown over here so this is the category over here so that category only is displayed so under this category let's display all the products as simple now you can remove this not required and let's uncomment this for else and now you got this category and inside this category you have multiple products so products so this product is nothing but your relationship so let me just show you that let's go to the category model let's go app model and you move to your where we are first we are going to category so move to your category inside your category model you have a products function perfect so you got this product function guys let's copy this and same product function you have to paste here and then your product item will be looped as simple now guys you can open this let's change this variable so as simple let me just control d and select every variable of this product item all done so at last we have and let's rename this as related product item as simple guys okay so it should be a unique name done so this is a related product item and let me just give the margin bottom here three save it and here also margin bottom three and now guys let's check the output ones so let me minimize this so first refresh cool so you see all the related of this mobile category products has been come over here okay and now guys let us show this in a latest wise so latest products only we have to show so you can just get back and here you see we cannot give the code of latest function inside this for each loop so instead what we'll do let's go to this category model in the products function of has many relationship let's go to the category.php model and here you see products function here is the class and just add the latest function let's save it all done guys if you are thinking like you have another product or you have made other coding with which you don't want to get the latest so what you can do you can just copy this again and paste here and write a function name like related products okay related products and same code you will be calling that's it and now you can remove this so you have another function for the same class products so which will be used only for your related products oops spelling mistake related products let's copy this and you can get back to your viewblade.php live wire and here in the for each loop just change the function name that's it guys and one more thing guys if you want to show which related product is this this is related mobile products right so you can mention that category name also so what we'll do let's copy this and paste here let me break it down just add in a if condition if category is there then show the category of name and if save it so now you can get back and let's refresh and see you'll be seeing that in a latest format let's refresh perfect so you see guys related mobile products and here you see latest product it's displaying it so now guys one more thing like if you have 100 products we cannot show at once on this page so what we can do we can write the code like take only few products so let me just show you an example over here either you write the code over here or else you can write it here itself okay in your function in your relationship function so let me just teach you in the for each loop itself so just use take function and just give the number of product you want to show so for example now i'm going to just show only one product under this related mobile products so refresh perfect so you see guys only one product has been shown if you want same code just control x and paste here in the category 
itself so it will show you that data also okay let me just show you that so if you refresh it will give only one data that's it guys and now let's keep the product minimum to 20 product or else 16 also okay so guys now let's save and you can get back on this view blade so everything works fine and now guys i want to teach you one more thing like this is for the related mobile products what in case if you want only the mi products okay so this is my mi brand so here i want to show only related mi products so what we can do let's copy this complete code okay so let me minimize Control c and paste it again so now guys what we'll do let me minimize this for each loop and here related instead of giving the category let's give the product so you can go at the top i mean you have to get this brand name here how is this displayed so let me copy that let's go on this column md7 and see there here we are using it brand and this is the product of brand let's copy this complete variable copy it get below and paste it here as simple and now paste it and now you can copy this again and get to your for each loop inside this for each loop let's use a if condition if and and if okay so control x and after this column md3 and paste it and here you tell a related product item of brand okay so this is a brand column in your products table which is double equal to double quotes and this is the your product brand you are going to copy this and paste here so only product brand only you are going to filter save it and here please change the else part no related products available okay so let's copy this and change for top also so here in this case add this for each else related all done guys and now let me minimize this for your related products and this is for your related brand products okay so save it okay let's get back and move below let's refresh so here you see related mobile products and below here you see related mi products perfect so guys we just need to add a divider or else you can remove this background white and now if you refresh and here you see the difference okay perfect so everything works fine guys and so now guys i just wanted this cards to be in a carousel format okay so if you don't put in carousel format it will just loop and show one below another till 16 products right so what we'll do we'll just put in a carousel that it will be sliding okay so guys as you see in home page we have already done with the carousel part so let me just show you all done so let's move below and here you see guys that it's in a carousel format right so same carousel will copy and paste so guys as simple let's go to this main front end page that is indexblade.php file so let's move inside our resource views front end inside front end we have an indexblade.php file okay and here if you go top here you have a trending product inside that trending products we have this owl carousel code perfect so what we'll do we'll just copy this Control c and get back and paste here so before your category i mean before your for each so here you paste and we have pasted this two divs right so we need to end the two divs let's copy and paste here again again okay so now you have to include the script code so let's get back on the index and here is the script code guys let's copy this and get back to your live wire blade.php and yep let's move below and we have yes we have already added that script yielding part and now inside this only we are going to paste the owl carousel also for owl carousel done and here 
you copy this class and you paste that's it so where is it it's here in the first related product we have pasted it so instead of column md3 we are going to mention as item and one more thing guys we are going to just refresh i mean change this for else to for each so just add for each copy this and end for each okay and this code we are going to remove and paste in the else condition so let me remove this and here let's add it in the if else if and move it else okay so first in the else condition we'll paste this so here it's already column md12 you don't require just remove this column md and just keep a simple div and now guys you can just control x this and paste here and this will be inside your if condition and here you can just check if the category is available or not so if the category is available then you are going to loop all this data so now guys let us just check the output once so yep let's get back go to your single product view here is a single product let's refresh perfect so it's working fine guys and it is scrollable cool so same code paste for your brand also so here is the for else and the code and let us copy that else if else and and if and just paste here okay so now you need to cut this control x and paste inside your this if condition all done and you don't need this let's remove this complete let me minimize it it's getting more messed up here your for else starts so what we can do let's name this as for each copy and change the end for for each done guys so now you can end this carousel let me copy and paste here so my carousel ends here and here instead of column md3 add an item okay and then guys this is a column md12 you have to end that column 12 also as simple all set and now let's refresh and check the output for below part okay so here it's not scrollable refresh it will be scrollable perfect so here you see guys that two products are visible which is in scrollable part so guys we have successfully completed how to show our related products in our product detail page okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share